Thanks, Amos. That was almost a disaster. Maybe you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, Pippa. Oh, come on. You saved them. I'll just be more careful next time. No, I'm serious. You almost had no eggs to sell. Well, I suppose I could distribute the risk a little bit. That is not a bad idea. You could produce eggs at different places, so if something goes wrong here, at least you have other places to fall back on, like PPC is doing with its expansion program. You're probably right. You know, business has been tough. There are so many people selling eggs now, and so cheap. The days when there were only a few producers in the country and we could demand a premium price have long gone. I will have to make a plan to make sure we stay ahead of the competition. We are seeing that with cement as well. There's more competition, forcing prices down, which means we can make less money on the cement that we do sell. Have you thought of finding other ways to sell more eggs, like maybe opening a breakfast stand? Then you can prepare the eggs for people the way they want it, in addition to selling the fresh eggs. Keep talking, Amos. Go on. You know there are a lot of people on their way to work who haven't had breakfast yet. You can offer them other things like toast and coffee as well. You're absolutely right, Amos. But it's hard to cater for everyone's tastes. Even better, if we have a few basic breakfast items, people can put together their own breakfast, which is quite nifty because not everybody likes the Amos breakfast. I still don't understand why people think steak, sausage and bacon is too much meat for breakfast. You know, now that I think about it, I can maybe even sell egg recipe books. There is so much you can do with eggs, apart from just boiling them, and people don't realize it. Or I can even give cooking classes. That would be amazing. Now you are talking big business, people. Then you are not just providing the ingredients people need, but a breakfast solution as well. You know, that's exactly why PPC invested in ReadyMix through Pronto and 3Q Mahum. Like you, we are providing a wider range of materials, more than just cement. And you know what? If I can raise chickens, I can probably raise ducks. And they eat more or less the same food. Then I can start a side business, making feather items. I've always liked needlework. I think I should ask my customers what they want, just to make sure that I'm giving them what they want. Let me guess. Then you open a training academy teaching people how to make pillows. How did you know? I can see the sign now. People, the provider of materials and solutions.